Hey everybody, what's up? Ross Rayburn with a quick little yoga tip for you. Uh, this is one of the most common questions I get when I teach, is what is the front leg supposed to do in pigeon pose or pigeon prep? So there's a lot of different opinions on this and I tend to err on the side of the safer version. Um, what I'm talking about is, you know, most of you probably have done this stretch before. It's often called pigeon or pigeon prep. And a lot of people, especially if they've got a little bit more open hips, they like to take the leg out in front so the shin is more parallel to the front of the mat. So this gives you a nice butt stretch. It is, It does feel good. And you know, it kind of feels like you're progressing in your practice to have your shin bone that far in front. So uh, I'd like to joke, it's good for your ego. Um, but I'm a little bit, wary of this. I tend to advise people, especially if they have back pain or knee pain, to do the stretch in what I consider a more remedial version. So if the foot's back like this, what happens is you're able to keep the back side, this side is considered to be the back side since it's the back, the hip of the back leg, you're able to keep this more square, which is healthier for your low back. If you bring the foot forward, what most people often do is they shift over toward this front leg side which externally rotates the pelvis and you can get some compression and bad alignment, some, some poor alignment in your hip flexors, etc. So again, if you have the foot back, you're more likely that you're going to be able to square the pelvis on the back leg side. And this is an oversimplification of all what's going on, but essentially that's, you can consider that to be a little bit safer and healthier for your low back. Another benefit of having the foot back in this, in this sort of remedial version, if you will, is you can do, as I've shown, as I've focused on in a couple of other videos, strong ankles, which is also related to getting a truer or healthier hip stretch. As opposed to letting your ankle sickle, you'll notice that my toes are pointing back in the same direction that my shin is pointing. So not only is the back hip square, but my ankle is also not breaking, if you will, or sickling down toward the, toward the floor. So I'll show this on the other side. <clears throat> This one's okay. I don't mean to steal away or try to take away the, the poses that you really like to do, but what I'm advocating is that bringing your foot back like this and keeping your ankle strong is going to give you not only what you want out of the pose in terms of a, a nice stretch of the butt, which is good, but also training your, your overall posture, particularly the back leg and all of the hip flexors and low back muscles. You're keeping them in good alignment too when you do pigeon. <clears throat> so I hope that helps. And uh, as always, uh, be good. See you soon.